New this morning, a landmark health care and climate bill is heading to President Joe Biden's desk after the House of Representatives voted Friday to pass the Democrats Inflation Reduction Act. Now, the bill comes at a time when states across the country are confronting extreme weather events as well. Cole Higgins reports. Democrats and President Joe Biden scoring a big win. After more than a year of negotiations, the House Democrats are going to send the Inflation Reduction Act to the president's desk for signature. The sweeping $750 billion bill targets health care, energy, and the climate crisis. The legislation is the largest climate investment in U.S. history, with a whopping $369 billion in spending on climate and energy policies. Provisions include electric vehicle tax credits and funding for domestic clean energy manufacturing and to combat drought. Scientists warn extreme drought and extreme flooding will become more frequent as the planet warms. Here in Nevada, when you have the monsoon season, people know that they need help when it comes to climate change. Heavy rain pouring into Las Vegas casinos and flooding streets for a second time in recent weeks. The downpour is part of the wettest monsoon season in a decade. It's causing significant damage and at least two deaths are now being blamed on the flooding. This bill allows us to deal with some of those things in the long term to build back better, actually, to be more resilient. There's money to make our water systems more efficient so we don't lose water as it is delivered to the people. It's a great bill for Nevada. However, some Republicans say it hands out tax credits like candy with no accountability. But when it comes to natural gas, which heats our homes, cooks our food, it raises taxes. I'm Cole Higgins reporting.